I want to give you a sense of what one of our maths classes feels like. Come grab your copy, grab your pen, and let's do some maths. So today I want to teach you about algebraic fractions, all right? And this is a thing that comes up from second year right through to leaving certs about higher than order level, and I see the same mistake from students again and again and again. Grab your copy, grab your pen, but imagine that you're in a class here of seven or eight students and that we're all interacting, take it step by step, getting through the question. All right, so let's take a look at, at algebraic fractions. Okay, here's a very common uh, type of question, and there's two questions, one on either side, and I see the same mistake again and again. You're looking at it, you're saying, right, there's a, all right, teacher, there's a three over eight, and there's a plus, there's a plus x over nine, this here. And just, there's just a plus in the middle, and over here there's an equals in the middle. Sure, it's the same thing, isn't it? Absolutely not. <laughs> and you see, you see students go into it, and they're like, Oh, two arrows over, just eight by nine, x by three, and it's a, it gets completely confused. From second year right through to leaving cert, it's the same mistake again and again and again. So, I want to get into your head. If there's a plus or a minus in the middle, up, up, and the bottom, boys. And if there's an equal sign in the middle, it's just up and up. Now, let me explain. So, take a look here. Uh, let's take a look here. There's your example. 2 over 3 is equal to x over 4. It's an arrow system, guys. So look at this, right? We'd have 2 over 3 uh, plus x over 4, right? Now it's a plus in the middle. It's an arrow system. We're going to go up, up, and then across with the bottom, boys, we call it. So then follow the arrow, right? You're going to say 4 by 2. 4 by 2. plus, follow the arrow, 3 by x, okay, 3 by x. And underneath, what's it going to be? Follow the arrow, you can look at this arrow here, 4 by 3. All right, and then just finish it off, nice and steady. So it's going to be 4 by 2 is 8, plus, what's 3 by x? It's 3x. All over, 4 by 3 is 12. Okay. And then up here, we're going to say that the, we're going to say that if you had, what if you changed the signs in the middle, right? So what if there was an equal sign now in the middle of that? What would change? Watch. So let's do this here. Get rid of all that. And we're going to say, we're going to try this. Put an equal sign here in the middle. And try this. Put your equal sign here in the middle. Now. It is just up, up, and no bottom, boys. All right? So watch this. 4 by 2 is equal to x by 3, or 3 by x. That's very different instantaneously. There's no fraction. All right? So 4 by 2 is 8 is equal to 3x. And so x is equal to 8 divided by 3. Does that make sense? All right? Very different. Plus or minus in the middle, up, up, bottom boys, just an equal sign in the middle, just up and up. And let's take one more example. Go back to the one I showed you originally. So let's take this guy up here. Rise a single fraction. Now, can you give this a go yourself? Give that a crack. There's a plus in the middle. What are you going to do? Up, up, and the bottom boys. Yeah? So use your arrows. Give yourself help. Up, up, and the bottom boys. Watch this, right? 9 by 3 plus 8 by, follow the arrow, x. All over, 8 by 9 in the bottom. And you can finish it off, just multiply them together. And then do the other side, there's an equal to sign in the middle. So it's going to be up and up, no bottom, boys. So it's going to be up and up, which would be 9 by 3, follow the arrow, is equal to 8 by x. And you finish it off. But what, and, and it's easy to finish it off after that. But what I want to really get across is, like, and this is how we teach in breakthrough maths. You want to get a sense of, like, little aids, little assists, little, little things in your head that, like, oh, yeah, I, I remember doing that in the grinds, and you apply it to the exam. Like, oh, yeah, plus or minus, they said, up, up, and the bottom boys. And if there's an equals to sign, no bottom boys. Those little hints and tricks it really help for maths, because maths kind of repeats itself. You know, it's just taking a set of tools and applying it to how to do certain types of questions. All right? 
That gives you a sense of the lessons. You can imagine seven or eight other kids in a class learning the maths that way with a nice, cool, calm tutor. And uh, that's how we improve students' maths grades.